and KT. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Get that Christian email I sent you? The one with Jesus saying he loves you. Oh, no, I deleted that. You deleted it? Aren't you a Christian? Nope, not me. Well, why aren't you a Christian? Well, I just couldn't get past the whole talking snake thing. Don't you believe in the Bible and God? I don't know, man. All that stuff about talking snakes, it just kind of gets to me. But Jesus loves you. He died for you on the cross. It's for your sins. Yeah, but still, talking snakes? Really? But he gave up his life for you. But still, the idea of a talking snake does sound kind of dumb. That wasn't even a snake, it was Satan. Oh, really? Well, how did he get in the garden? Well, this is how the story goes. First, he was in heaven, serving unto God, and then he got all jealous or something. So God, and then he tried to pit a war against God, and God kicked him out of heaven, and he went on to earth. And that's how he got there to the Garden of Eden. And then he tempted Adam and Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. And then that caused the world to sin. And that's why we need salvation. Because we sinned and brought sin to the world. Wait, let me get this straight. Why do we have to take Jesus? Because humans are responsible for bringing sin to the world. Therefore, we need salvation. Because of us. The world is no longer perfect like God made it, but isn't it great that God is so loving that he will forgive us of our sins? But wait, didn't God send Satan to earth? Yes, he did, because he was trying to rebel against God. I told you this already. But that would mean Satan was the first one to sin, because he transgressed against God, right? Yes, he was the first being to sin. And God cast him to earth. Yes, God cast him to earth. Why do I have to keep telling you this over and over again? But wouldn't that mean, based on your story, that God brought a sinful being to earth? And that God brought an imperfect being to his perfect creation? Wouldn't that mean that God brought sin to earth? Well, um, if... God brought Satan to earth, which is basically, which Satan is basically the epitome of sin, and he put him on earth, that means God is responsible for bringing sin to the earth. Wouldn't that make sense? No, no, you, you don't under- Oh, but I think I do understand. See, God brings a sinful being to earth, then God blames us. For having sin on the earth even though he brought the original sinful being to earth and then says that we need to be saved because we brought sin to the earth even though we really didn't bring sin to earth but we need salvation anyway so basically he caused the problem he makes a solution and then he wants us to just go along with it this is what you basically said in your story Oh, I see the problem now. It's because you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, so you don't understand the scripture. Here, let me let me lay hands on you. No, no, that's that's really fun. Let me just just let me let me. Fine, I'm gonna go leave. I'm gonna pray for you. Pray for your soul, your sinful soul that God caused. Shut up.